Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, I am going to explain you how we can create the hourly rate salary basis. So let's just move on to the application where we are going to perform this task. So you have to log in as an implementation user or HR specialist. Then you have to go to the My Client group and here you have to find the compensation option. Then just click on it. And here we have to find the salary basis. Here you can see that. For existing, you can search by name, legislative data group, and the frequency, status, salary basis type. And for the creating new one, you have to just click on the create option. Here, we have to fill the name. So here we are going to create the salary hourly salary basis with the component. The code is automatically populated here. We have to select the legislative data group. to the salary basis then we have to define the salary basis type so here we have to select the salary basis um, a salary amount is determined by the incremental component because we are creating here the hourly rate with the component then here we have to define the frequency so it's hourly Then in the annualization factor, we have to fill the 2080. Okay. Then if you want to change any of the details uh, like decimal place to display salary amount rounding rule, annualized value rounding rule, so you can change here. Then here under the component option, here we have to select the component to display when adjusting salary. So here what we are going to select, we are going to select the specific component to display during allocation. And the next is enable component selection during allocation. Uh, if you want to enable this option, so you can uh, uh, enable component during the allocation. And if you want to uh, select this one, so it display the specific component, not all component, only specific component during the allocation time. So we are going to select this first one. Then I'm just going to click on the add. Here we are going to select the salary component. Uh, Let's just select the promotion first. Then the display sequence and description is automatically populated here. So what is the description for this uh, salary adjustment that, uh, that accompanies the changes in a person's promotion, job or grade. Then we are going to add one more. And this time we are going to add the cost of living. Then similarly, you can add another one. Like we are want only specific components. So I'm going to just select here the progression. Now, what we have to do, we have to go to the element mapping option here. And here we have to select our payroll element. Then 
क्यों बिकॉज वी आर ट्रीटिंग द आवरली रेट सैलरी बेसिस सो आई एम सिलेक्टिंग हेयर द आवरली विच कंपोनेंट सो हेयर इन द इनपुट फील वी आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट द रेट दादा डिटेल इज ऑटोमेटिकली पॉपुलेटेड हेयर नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू गो टू द सैलरी रेंज ऑप्शन here in the grid section we have to add our hourly grid rate and if you want to add the differential profile differential profile here you can add it and you can see here all the grade and rate is now added here so this is how we can add the grade rate hourly grade rate and the component and the uh, element and the salary ranges in the hourly rate salary basis so that's how we can create the hourly rate salary basis with the components so let's just save this option Let's search the salary basis we just created. So this is the Fusion USA one hourly rate with component we just created. So this is how we can create the salary hourly rate salary basis with the component. I hope this process is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.